Let me tell you about Donovan. He was my teammate. He was my son. He was a classmate. He was my best friend. He was my boyfriend. My son was my baby boy. I met Donovan in about eighth grade, and we just immediately became friends. We just connected. And I came here before my freshman year, and he was the first person that actually like talked to me and like introduced me to his friends. Looking at how he interacted with others, it was something that um, made me proud. Donovan was definitely a people person. He um, attracted all kinds. The pretty boy, the one that all the girls liked, and he had the nice cars. I spent most of my time with him or at his house or with his family. He really wanted everyone to just have fun. He was an excellent student. He had one of the highest GPAs. You know, before he was even in high school, he was already talking about you know going on into college and having a family, and he had his you know whole life planned out. He started playing football in junior high. I always kind of looked up to him when I played. Um, I was playing line and he was the running back and uh, I led block him all the way for a touchdown and ever since then we just became good friends. He had a lot of fans, especially the girls, so everybody wanted to wear his jerseys. He was really nice to everybody. He was um, an all-star on the field and off the field. I see him as the leader of the pack. He would not only lead by example but also try to help others sort through whatever they were going through in their own lives. If you were having a bad day, he'd be the first one to pick you up and be like, let's go to the park and feed the ducks. It was actually where we spent our first date. It's really special. A day I'll never forget. Life is, I knew it, ended forever. And then we were driving home. We were just kids having fun. I was going over the speed limit excessively and we are blaring the music up really loud and I noticed that we were going pretty fast and it was causing the car to swerve back and forth. And we were like making fun of her, telling her like, can't you keep the car like in a straight line? My response was, oh, like this? And I jerked the wheel back and forth. And the next thing I know, I just see a tree coming at us. I remember like all the sounds of like the car crashing. I looked around and I see Donovan, but he wasn't moving. So I sat with Danica, I kept telling her, I think Donovan's dead, Donovan's dead. I even remember calling out Donovan's name and you know, hoping that he would hear me and just get up. I saw him light playing in his own blood. And I knew for sure that he was gone. When we walked up, he said, that's what he first said. He said, Donovan didn't make it. I remember hearing Martha, not my son. <laughs> Not my boy. And I think that was one of the most painful things to experience was hearing a mother cry about her son. The screaming of a mother just now finding out that her son is dead. And all simply because of something that was so preventable. We are just going home. Speed wasn't really a factor. Before we knew it, like in a matter of seconds, we lost our best friend. I immediately felt that it was my fault and I felt guilty. I felt ashamed. We wanted to go down to the hospital. We really needed to talk to Danica. And they just told me that they forgave me. It was not all her fault, and we wanted her to make sure she heard that from us. And all three of us in the back could have said, put our seatbelts on or told Danica to drive safe, but so I feel like we were all at fault. Like I wanted to say, hey guys, maybe we should slow down and put our seatbelts, but that's not really, like I didn't want to feel like, oh, he's a little scared baby. I wasn't driving, but my life was affected. You never know what's going to happen. You're not invincible. He had it all. He had it all put all together. But he made a bad decision. And in the blink of an eye, he lost all that. And that was it. That's all it took. You just have to think in your head, if I do this, it could mess up my life totally. If I can get in a crash, then I'd have to live with the consequences the rest of my life. I went from having a brother that was one of my best friends to being an only child. It only took one, one moment of bad decision on his part to lose that life. 